Okay, guys, it's Boys and Berry Festival 2023. 2023. We, we got to move that way so you can see the Boys and Berry, Julie. There you go. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Vince the Hatman, Miss Hatman Jules, back at Knott's Berry Farm for opening day of Boys and Berry Fest. Well, opening weekend. Opening weekend. It was Friday, but the park closed rain. early because of yeah. rain. But we are here for opening weekend to show you all the food, all the merch, the new show. What else, Julie? The decorations, everything else that makes Boysenberry what it is. Yes. So we will check it all out for you. Follow along. Subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe, Vince the Hat Man. It really helps out the channel to show you all this fun Boysenberry stuff and all the entertainment that Knotts is doing this year for Boysenberry Festival 2023. There's Boysenberry plants behind us too, Julie. Yeah, there's a ton so, of plants. They're so yep. nice. So we'll show you those too. Yes. They have some new stuff, uh, watering cans and new merchandise and things for the festival that we're going to show you and all the entertainment. So come on down. We were at Boysenberry Lane here. We thought we'd do our opening here. So follow along today. And our Facebook page is Knotts Then and Now. We love your comments and to participate in that page too. All for our love of Knott's Berry Farm. You ready, Julie? Let's go explore I'm it. I'm ready. Let's okay, go. Okay, let's go, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, Julie, we're at the official spot to get your pie, boysenberry pie shirts and Snoopies and fun stuff. So let's see what they have. So this year we have the 23 event shirt, which is pie time. It's With the free cool. pin. Yeah, free pin. I like the pin. That's pretty That's cool. That's really cool. They have boysenberry ears here. Check these out. I know those are Snoopy so cool. ears. And they have, there's the shirts back there, pie time. Really cool. Boysenberry Fest. I love the Woodstocks. And I check out all these fun Snoopies. Boysenberry Snoopies, which I really like those too. Yeah, $25 so. for the Boysenberry Snoopy. Okay, and the t shirt pin combo is $22.99 or $19.99. How much are the ears? There's the back of the shirt. $15. Ears are how much? $14.99. $14.99 for the Snoopy Boysenberry ears. So come on down. Is, right when you come into Ghost Towns, the first booth on the right. The official uh, vent shirt and pin. All right, Joel, let's keep going. Let's go. Happy Boysenberry Festival. Happy Boysenberry. Okay, Julie, Gold Trails is back open. Yay. So we can come get our fine gifts again. That's right. So let's go see how it looks inside and what new stuff they got for Boysenberry Festival 2023. Wow, looks like they have a lot of stuff. We definitely have a new spirit jersey I yes. see there. So this was from last year, I think, the Berry Farm. But the spirit jersey's new. It's got a pie in the back, which is kind of cool. How much is it, Joel? Uh, $69.99. $69.99. Looks pretty cool. Very cool. Um, and then we have the boysenberry purse, which we've seen before. Seen the purse. It's pretty fun. Blankets. Blankets. Mugs. Cool mugs. And they have some new mugs. Glass, like a mug and then a glass. Yeah, I see this glass. Shot glasses. Here. Of course, they always have a really cool, like, water bottle. Water yes, bottle. We saw that. Here's some more shot glasses $40. down here. $400? Okay. $40. $40. Oh, 40 bucks, I think. <laughs> what a deal. I know, right? Shot How much glasses. Are the shot glasses? $12.99. I see that. I see that. Cute little boysenberry so shot glass. Cute. I like these boysenberry ornaments. They're very sparkly. You know, actually, those are really cute. Yeah, I really Let's like take those. Take a look at that. Yeah, those are nice. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. How much is that? Uh, those are eight ninety nine. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, let's go over to the left here. This looks like it might be new here. The boysenberry K with Ooh, the flowers. That is of. new. I like that's that. That's nice. How much is that? That one is, if I can see, oh, $44.99, and then it has the pockets in yeah, the front. Yeah, I like that. Nothing on the back. That's good looking, though. That's super cool. And then over here we have a t-shirt of it, huh? Yes. Let's see that one. You want to pull that up? Oh, really nice, like Let a heather t-shirt. $24.99. Okay, it's kind of cool. I like and that. Nothing, nothing on the on back. The back. Really nice and soft. Okay, and then uh, what do we have over here, Julie? We have a zipper uh, sweatshirt. Oh, that's cool. With really? the boys and berries on the left really side. Nice. That's on the, that's on yeah. the right side. Oh, the right side. My left side. Yeah. Forty forty six ninety nine. That's cool. Pockets, I like that. Zipper. Okay. Nothing on the back. I think that's hey, pretty. I like, I like that. It. Yeah. Nice and design. and from the back here, we got the boys and berry festival, which looks good. And then over here, what do we have? Oh yeah, just some it's like this There's doesn't. Some women's shirts. And it says not. Let me see. Okay, hold it, hold still for one sec. There you go. I like that. Twenty four ninety nine. Okay, and then we have our Boysenberry Festival zip ups over here. We had last year on the wall. 
and those are pretty nice. Those were popular last year. We have some hats and visors and boysenberry mugs again. And what's this one? Oh, it's got pockets. It's got pockets. Is that the one from last year? I can't remember. Yeah, looks a little it different, looks a little maybe. Different. No, the design is Forty four ninety nine. Yeah, forty six ninety nine. Forty six ninety nine. Okay, so we have some different stuff here, and this is interesting. This looks like junior stuff. So yeah. Wear code. Junior like active wear. Almost. Yeah, it's very like it's full of boys and berries though. I'll tell you that. Full zip. Pants. So if you're a size two or four, this stuff is going to be really good for you. And some shorts. Okay, and over here we have the Knott's Berry Farm figurines, the little pie selling. Is that like the original berry? Like kind of the bear stand. stand. The original one, yeah. yeah. It's not exactly original, but and then yeah. the yeah. little um, figurines that you can open, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Those are cool too. So come on down to Gold Trust. Oh, there's more stuff on the other side, Joel. Let's go take a peek. But the spirit jerseys are nice this year, and they even say spirit jersey. Cool. Like it. Nice. All right, let's keep looking around. Okay, Joel, here's another one here. Knott's Berry Farm, California, established 1920. 1920. We've got some boysenberries on it. <laughs> it's 32.99. It's a Hanes Nano tee, and that's kind of cool. The boysenberry umbrellas are back. Yes, they're always wanted, fun. You know, those are good. And let's see what we have here. These are oh, you need a tank top this year, huh? Little Knott's tank top for women from Boxer oh, yeah. Craft. That's cute. Like sleepwear. And what's to the right here? Another little it's Knott's. A soft. T-shirt. Soft T-shirt. And I see something else over here I like. It's like a hoodie. Look at that. Farm Fresh Boysenberry. That's really cute. That's really cool. You know, they have, they always have the Boysenberry lotions. Lotions and stuff. Yeah. But where, I, where was this one up? I didn't see this up. That's cool. It is really yeah. cool. Okay. And then some pajamas down here too. So come on down to Gold Trails and you can end your day with some Boysenberry soap. See you guys. Keep following along today. Opening day of Boysenberry Festival 2023. Okay, Jewel, I found some hats. Yeah. Look at these. So, yeah. These are pretty really cool. cool. And How much are these? So Hatman loves hats. Hat we know Man that. Hatman loves hats, of course. $29.99. $29.99. Adjustable buckle on the back. And then we have some new mugs here, it looks like, too. Oh, those with are boys cool. and berries. I like that. How much is that? $14.99. Oh, here's the sweatshirts. They're right here. <laughs> Farm really Fresh cute. Boys. I really like these. These are really yeah, those cute. Yeah, really cute. Yeah, for women, these are great. And there's some t shirts. Farm fresh boysenberries. And, and what? Oh, we got a little now look, beanie sort of. Everybody needs a boysenberry, a boysenberry beanie. beanie right? How fun! Twenty nine ninety nine. You should get one of those. Super. And then some more shot glasses, some boysenberry colored <laughs> ones, and some clear ones. So yeah, head on down to Gold Trails and come get your uh, boysenberry fill. And they still have the boysenberry. Let's just walk over here for one sec, Joel. Two things they still have over here. Yeah, we got the boysenberry pie makes me happy. Blowing in the wind here. <laughs> That's really cool. Some cotton candy. And there's the uh, there's the shirt. Boysenberry pie makes wow. me happy. Hey, so they have what a do we new have? coffee. Ooh. Knott's boysenberry Grand Marnier. That looks good. Brown coffee. Sixteen ninety nine. Boysenberry popcorn. Ooh. Boysenberry crunch. And, and here's crumb these... crumb cake. Look at this. Oh, boysenberry crumb one. cake mix. So they have a couple new coffees. Yeah. That's great. And what's this? Boysenberry no big cheese cake. Jumbo cookie. This is really popular. Oh, the jumbo cookie. Okay. Let me see that. That's cool. And we have some um, Merlot. Boysenberry, boysenberry Merlot, Merlot bars. Bar. And here we have boysenberry chocolate. chocolate. Bar. Yeah. So come on down to Gold Trails and get your fill of boysenberry stuff for boysenberry 2023 exciting day julie it's our opening weekend and we're back we're back the rain was tough but we are here, we are here. all right let's keep going all right julie we're going into boysenberry lane and who do we find over here hey hello hello my name's cannonball i know cannonball it's nice to see you Nice to be seen by you. It's always yeah, good to be cute. seen. Where's your little, where's your, your thing you play? I like, yeah, that's it. Yep, yep. You give us a little, uh. Sure. Okay. Awesome. All right. 
All Good right. job, Cannonball. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Glad you're here. And we're going to head into Boysenberry Lane, so follow along, guys. Okay, Julie, we found Whittles. It's Whittles. Whittles, you already started your Boysenberry oh. Festival eating, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like you had a good time. Yeah? Was it all good? <laughs> yeah. So good. All good? Good, good? <laughs> all right, so take it from Whittles and come down to Knott's and get some Boysenberry treats for the Boysenberry Festival. That's right. Look at that. I know. Yes. Enjoy. How's your figure looking? Yeah, mine too. <laughs> Iffy. <laughs> okay, Whittles, thanks a lot. Thanks, Whittles. All right, see ya. Okay, Jill, we're back at Boysenberry Lane, and they have the plants again this year. Yeah, so Boysenberry plants. So it's $29.99 mm -hmm. for the plants. And we have a new thing, a watering can. So you That's can get cool. The plant and the watering can. I wonder where, where are the watering right. cans, guys? Oh, right in front of me. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Sorry. Just straighten those out. Check it out. So it's Okay, so it's a little watering can. How yeah, cool is that? so cute. So come and get your plants and uh, your little boysenberry watering can. And we have some boysenberry bags here. <laughs> so you can get those too. So here's all the plants. Let's check them out. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, all over. So we'll check them out a little bit. They look healthy and beautiful. What do you think, Julie? Yeah, I think we need to get them yeah. house. Here's the big boysenberries. So come... Wait for Ghost Rider to Let's go. Wait for Ghost Rider. And come get your boysenberry plants here at uh, Boysenberry Lane. Yes. Right, Joel? Right. Okay, let's keep going. All right. Okay, Julie, we were at the factory store for the Tied Up and Knots Boysenberry Art Festival always a good one. So let's check it out. So we're going to try to show you everything really quick. So Julie's going to read the names and I'm going to tell, I'm going to um, show them to you. All right. So we'll legend, where legends are grown. So it's a cool boysenberry. First edition, like a newspaper. Okay. Knott's yeah. Berry Good Time. Top. It's kind of fun. Okay. Sad eye oh, up there. Sad, sad joke. I like that. Pop tarts. Boysenberry Pop Tarts? No, just Pop Tarts. That's kind of cool, this but that's one. That's very cool. And then this one is Growing Sky High. I like that. Yeah. Oh, how cute. What's that one? Berry Moxie? Tales. Is that Moxie? Does it say? It just, just says Berry Tales. It just says Berry Tales. Okay, and then we got Sad Eye Joe. A different version of different Sad Eye. Different version. On Schoolhouse Road. Okay. And Blustering Bandits. So that's kind of cool. Blustering Bandits. Okay. All right, let's let's go to the top uh, to bottom. Top, so wild ride into spring. Okay. The haunted. Oh, this is no. It's oh, the haunted called, shack. That's, that's cool. That's the haunted shack. Look with whittles. It says it's just dandy, stand and slanty. Okay, and this is. This one is building a ghost town. Okay. Can can cowboys and calico. Okay. Let's go here. And Gertie's dress oh, shop. Yeah, oh yeah, Gertie's man, dress, dress shop. shop. So sad. The Sad Life of Joseph Magnapper. So we got a lot of Sad Eye Joe here, We do have huh? a lot of Sad Eye Joe. It's that's great. That's cool, though. That's like a um, shadow box, right? Yeah, it is a shadow box. Okay, that's really cool. And then Boys Berries at the very top. That's like frightening, sort of. It is a little bit scary. Look at this wood calico mine uh, train, though. This is really not neat. Not Yesteryear Festival. That's really cool. That like, I really cool. like that. A lot of detail on that. What's this? Oh, the mine this train. Magical calico mine caverns. Okay. And boys and berries for catawampus. Catawampus. Okay, here we have. Oh, here we have Eureka. Calico Saloon. Yes, and then Splash Fountain. Splash Fountain. Splash Fountain. Is that? Wait a minute, we're at the wrong part. For I that. know. So. Oh, uh, look who that is! The guy. Um, he's from Ghost Town Alive. I forget what his name character oh, name is. Oh yeah, that is. Oh gosh. Yeah, he's cool. Laundry I like him. Day at Wing Hop Lee. That's funny. And then we have Wanted, Brawny and Moxie. Moxie and Brawny. Here we have California like Bear. piece of pie. And a piece of pie called A Perfect Spring Bay. Okay. Spring Day. <laughs> Walter and Cordelia. Founding a Legacy. Okay, and this is kind of interesting. Rose what is this? Catnip Junction. Oh, that's from um, Soapbox that Racers. Oh, wow. That's from the old attraction. See, I never, I never saw Soapbox Racers. I know you didn't. I did, though. It was great. Okay, so here we have okay, Haunted Shack. Okay, so right here we have Haunted Shack. At the bottom, you're gonna go oh, to the okay, bottom. A, go bottom? a okay. simple memory. 
It's like a plate. It does look yeah. like, oh, that's uh, Charleston Fountain. Charleston Fountain, okay. Hey, look at that pie in the sky. How fun pie is that? I sky. love that. Chief Red Feather. Okay. And then you have the Desert of Plenty. Okay. And a Summer Night's Plenty. Summer Night's Fun. All right, cool. And then what do we have here? Uh, engine 41. Engine 41, okay. A tune on the go. Okay. And number 340. The train. The train. So here we have Boysenberry Bliss. Boysenberry Bliss. That's kind of cool. Timber Mountain Oh, this Long I like Ride. a lot. Look at that. That's really cool. That's really cool. Boys it's got Berry. Walter and Cordelia coming down. Oh, how fun. Boysenberry Babe. Kingdom and of the Dinosaurs. So before uh, Kingdom of Dinosaurs came after the original Berry Tales, and then it was replaced by uh, years ago at close, it was nothing. And then we got Berry Tales back. And in between that, we had the Kraken ride up there. So let's check this out. This looks cool. Look, so who's cool. Chicken Look who's now. chicken now. Okay. Dueling pies. Cool. Extinct. And okay. Judge Roy Bean. Judge Roy Bean. How funny. Shadow boxes are really oh, neat yeah, here, these too. Yeah, are so cool. Knott's Airfield. I love that. That's what it used to look like. 1822. So very sweet. Okay. And light bottle. Oh, this is like the bottle the house. Light yeah. Light. And there it is, tied up in knots. So if you have a chance, come by and check out this great display of art from Knott's history. Right, Joel? Very cool. Okay, guys, thanks right. for following. Thanks. to sit and tell a tale or two of my good friends, Walter and Cordelia Knott. Howdy, friends and partners, I'm glad you all came down. I'm mighty pleased to meet you and show you around my town. I've got a dream that's brewing that I'd like to share with you. So come on in and set a spell, we'll spin a yarn or two. Well, Walter just bought the sweetest little plot of land right off the Highway 39, and by the looks of things, he's got a hold of a brand new berry, about as big as my thumb. Well, if he could develop that, I reckon he could do just about anything. You might call old Walter a pioneer of sorts, with the same spirit of the men and women that built this fine country. Got a dreamer, you might say. <laughs> You'll see a ghost town come alive like once upon a time. With all Come and join the jamboree. 
a long way over these past 100 years. From a small fruit stand off of Highway 39, to a chicken dinner restaurant for my dear Cordelia, to a quaint ghost town filled with amazing possibilities and a sense of hope for the American dream to be shared with generations to come. I'm glad you all could join us. We're happy as can be. We sang some songs and raised and shared our history. 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 After dreams, reach a star and find your destiny. Hundred years of history. Oh,
Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of Nuts Preserve. All right, everyone, we just saw Knott's Preserve. Is that what it's called? Okay, it was a 100th celebration and are here with our friends from Where in the Park. Hey, guys, how's it going? And Jules, Julie's here too. Yeah. So if you don't follow Where in the Park, follow them and follow you on where? Instagram, Facebook, Facebook. Facebook. It's a picture. And they have killer stuff they do. When you go to a theme park, you can do scavenger hunts. Anyway, check them out. We're in the park. So what did you guys all think of the show? High energy. High energy. Yeah. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of dancing, great music. A lot of costumes. Yeah. A lot of really costumes. Yes. It felt like a Broadway musical a little bit. It felt like, it, like, it, like they were going for that. Yeah. yeah. Did you think? It was, the music, I think the song was just real yeah. long, though. Like, yeah. the one song that they wrote for the show. Right. Great. But then the rest of it was kind of public domain music that I don't know, they kind of did, kind of it's, didn't. It seemed like it was geared towards like them just coming to California. California, here I come, yeah. and started a farm. But there's so much more to Knott's than what they did. And yeah. it seemed like each number to me lasted a little long. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I felt. I mean, I feel it's a four trucker hat out of five. Four out of five? Yes. <laughs> okay, you get, where did you get those trucker hats? Nah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Great hats. I know, Don't forget, I do custom hats. Um, anyway, um, uh, what do you want to rate it, you guys? Kevin, let's start with you. I'm at probably three and a half. Trucker. Three and a half? Julie, you say four? Still four. All right, girls, what do you I'm, say? I'm going to say three. I really thought that it was going to be the history of Knott's. Yeah. Um, and they sprinkled in some Walter and Cordelia, but I thought it wasn't a consistent story. Okay. So I'm going to give it a three. Three? I'll say three and a half. Three and a half? At least it's entertainment here. It is. Yeah. Because we've been yeah. lacking it. Yeah, yes. that's true. Yeah, I do love the live entertainment. I think for a hundred years of history, though, they missed uh, about 60, 70 years. Ago. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, there's a lot about not I'm trying to think what they did. I mean, they did a little Roaring Twenties, I guess. Yeah. 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 But besides yeah, that, it, yeah. Like the, uh, log ride, the log ride thing, thing, yeah. But the mine train, I didn't see anything in that, which is yeah. probably, you know, besides the log ride, the most famous ride in the theme park world for dark rides. Yeah. So um, I'm going to give it three. I thought last year's show was better, and I thought Snoopy's rock concert was a five. Oh, that was really um, good, yeah. And all the, you know, not does great entertainment. It's still a good show. I would still recommend you come and see it, um, mostly because you have no choice of entertainment when you come here now. It's this, it's Kirk and the Hillbillies, show. and the Riverboat uh, Revenge. Right. So, all right, history of the Boysenberry right behind you, Julie. Move out, move out. There it is. Ooh, there it is. Ooh. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Appreciate it. And where will we see you guys? Oh, where in the park. We're in the park. We're in the park. Yeah, we're in the park. Okay, and we always say, Julie, what? At the end of the day, we will see you guys where? Oh. At the farm. That's right. So where will we see you guys? Everywhere. At the oh. farm. At the <laughs> One more time. Where will we see you guys? At, At the, the farm. farm. <laughs> now I'm copping. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. I didn't cue you. Okay, thanks, you guys. Thanks. Hey guys, we're here at Knott's for the opening weekend of Boysenberry Festival with my friend Kevin. Hello. Kevin, what's happening? Just eating pizza over here at Prop Shop. So let me see this pizza you got. What is this thing? This is the pickle pizza. I don't remember the full name. Do you remember the full name? No, I don't. I'll, but I'll, I'll take a picture of the, what it is. I used to pickle and bacon yeah. something. Pickle. Yeah. It All tastes, right. It tastes better than it looks. I'll be honest. I mean, it you. looks interesting, you know? I like pickles, but I thought this would be pretty gross just I got it because it was different and it was only available right now but right it actually kind of tastes good is it good yeah all right well take a bite and tell me what you think mm. 
It is kind of loud here, guys, so I'm going to do the best I can with the audio. So what do you taste? Is it like a garlic sauce or cream? I'm not sure what the sauce is. Like, the pickle has like, you know, the good like saltiness and brininess. Okay. It goes well with the bacon more than I thought it would. And um, I'm not sure what the sauce is, but it works. Huh. All right, I so what do you how. what do you want to rate it on the trucker hat scale? I think I might give us like four, four and a half trucker four, hats. Four, four, really? Yeah. Wow. It's better than I was thinking. All right, so come down to Prop Shop. We got both pizzas on the meal plan. Yeah. You get a side salad too. So a little bit of Caesar there. So yeah, what's it called, Julie? It's called the Boysenberry Ranch Pickled Pizza with Bacon. Boysenberry, you taste boysenberry? It's a little bit of sweetness. It's not very boysenberry, but it's a little sweetness to it that kind of balances out the pickle more okay. than I was expecting, yeah. All right, so Kevin says four, four and a half. So come on down to Prop Shop and check it out. Thanks, Kevin. Of course. All right, see ya. Okay, guys, we're back at the Boysenberry Festival and we got this margarita pizza with tomato, basil, and boysenberry. Uh, glaze? Is that what it is, Julie? So it's a balsamic drizzle. Hold on, Julie's here. Oh, I'm hey. the Sam Jules. Hey, how are you? Yep. So this is a boysenberry margarita pizza Okay. balsamic drizzle. So boysenberry margarita pizza with balsamic drizzle. Okay, yes. Julie, let's take a bite. All right, I'm gonna try to... Look at this, is a big book. It's a Whoa. big piece, I that's for sure. Uh-oh, you know, don't lose the cheese. You can't lose the cheese, guys. All right, there we go, it's just like right. this. Hold on. Okay, Jewel. Wow, the music stopped for a second. <laughs> you come to Prop Shop, it's very loud in here. That's good. It's good? Yeah? How good? She's thinking. I'm thinking. Okay. It's, it's almost like a four and a half, but we don't do four and a half. So. Well, Kevin said four and a half too, really? so. Okay. I'm making new rules for you. Making That's right, rules. I got okay. a trucker hat in it's half. It's not quite perfect, but it's definitely better than a four. Okay. So, I'll say four and a half trucker hats. Four and a half okay. trucker hats. Okay, you guys are gonna make me splice a trucker hat. I know, hat. right? All right, so we tried both pizzas yes. on the meal plan today. Kevin said four and a half. Yeah. Amanda's got a good looking salad there, you guys. Yes. And some healthy grapes. Yes. <laughs> and Julie says four and a half. Yeah, so it's really good. It's very cheesy. You taste the boysenberry barbecue sauce. Okay. With a little bit of balsamic on there. So it does have a really good flavor. All right, so come on down to Prop Shop. And these are two things. There's not a lot of meal plan stuff for the right. festival this year, but these are two good options. Yeah, they are. Okay. Really good. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Julie. Thank you. All right. Okay, Jules, day one of Boysenberry Festival's in the books. Yes. So we got to see Knott's Preverve, the big show. We did a couple food reviews, checked out some new merch. We have many more days to come here, but today is opening day. Or Now we're done with it, though. Went fast. I know. So make sure you head down to, what do you think of Boysenberry so far? It's fun. There's so much stuff, fun stuff to do, and we have a lot of stuff to still do. So much Lots food. Lots of food to try. Tons of food. This is really a food year. There's more food than entertainment this year. <laughs> Lots so. of food. And so far, the food looks like it's pretty yeah. good. We, most people we've talked to and what we tried was good today. Yeah. And decorations are always really good. So come on down to Nantes for Boysenberry Festival for the next uh, six weeks, I think. Yeah. And we'll do lots of videos and show you everything we can show you of Boysenberry Festival 2023. All so right, what do you think, Jewel? I'm ready. So come on down. Come on down. Check it all out. Subscribe to our channel, Vince the Hat Man. Our Facebook page is Nantes Then and Now. And we will see you at the farm. Ready, Jewel? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Bye.